Hey everybody, we got some great news here going on from Catbox Resources. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, DC's uh, Star of Sapphires expand their ranks to include men. Oh my gosh, about time. I mean, I finally feel like I'm equal to women. I mean, jeez, man, it just it took so long for this to happen. We've been staring at that violet glass ceiling there, just looking up at the matriarchy as they were lording over us, and I mean, finally, about time, men are finally, we're, we're equal. Look at that, we're finally equal. So it says, uh, in Wonder Woman Annual Number 2, Diana Prince is taken by the Star Sapphires, transported to their home planet of Xamarin. Uh, there the Violet Lanterns are waging a losing battle against the Dark God, finding themselves without a leader. The Sapphires sought out Wonder Woman, one of their most powerful champions. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, though Star Sapphire first appeared in the Flash and Green Lantern as a villain, the cores wasn't introduced until number seven, Jeff Johns and Ethan Van Skyver. Ethan Van Skyver's Cosmic Green Lantern Epic War of Light. There was revealed that Star Sapphire's mission was to spread love throughout the universe, but not gender equal love. Only for women. Only women were allowed to be. See, men were excluded. Like, as it always is, because we're an oppressed class, guys. I mean, we're just. Finally. I mean, uh, just looking at it, I just. Uh, it just feels so good to smash the matriarchy. I'm just so sick and tired of of earning seven cents on the dollar compared to women. It's it's absurd. You know, oh, they get to have babies. Well, you know what? Penis is a word that you shouldn't be afraid to use. All right? Women are scared of the penis word. And it's time we take it back. It's time that we, we grow up. Women shouldn't be afraid of it. All right? We're men, we're here, they better get used to it, because we're strong and we're fierce. Slay queen. All right, so Xamarin... As more and more sapphires join the fight, it becomes apparent that some of these violet lanterns are male. Look at that. Uh, however, no big deal is made of it. Well, you know, it should be, because it's about time we get equality here. Uh, it's only when the Dark God is defeated, when the, st the Sapphires thank Wonder Woman for her help, and Diana makes the remark. She tells them that uh, they are all her sisters, oh, or brother, I noticed. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. See, see, Star Sapphires, they couldn't do it without men. See, that's because men are strong. And that's what it is. Love is love. A Sapphire answers, reflecting the mantra of the LBGTQ... AIP, triple RIT, um, no matter who bears that heart. After years of being a cores of female characters only, the Star Sapphires have now changed their main rule. Now they recognize both male and female life forms are capable of spreading love in the universe. It's a great step forward to inclusion. This time embracing progressive thinking. No, it does. It matters not what sex one person is. All that matters is what's in their heart. See, even more so, it's what's in their pants, guys. That's what it is. It's not just what's in your heart. It's what's in your pants because they couldn't do it without a man. All right, men are fierce. All right, we're fierce. Get it right. So there we go, guys. We got equality finally. Yes! It feels so good after decades. <sighs> Uphill battles, guys. Uphill battle. Go to your local college. Learn your menness studies. Learn how to weave baskets underwater. Do it. Get out there. You're fierce. You're so fierce, guys. Get it.